So uh, as this map behind us shows, uh, pre-colonization, uh, this continent was actually inhabited by over 250 language groups, of which there were more than 800 different dialects. Yeah, wow. So today, 159 of these uh, languages in varying degrees uh, are all considered to be under threat. Now, there was uh, a survey uh, taken in 2018-2019 by uh, IATSA survey group, uh, and they found that 31 of these languages were being revived. That means they're being uh, picked up again, they're being used again. Um, additionally, two entirely new languages are emerging. Uh, that is uh, Creole um, and Torres Strait Creole. And um, you might notice uh, at sort of the, the northern part of New South Wales on this map, you'll see Gamilaroi country, um, which is the country from which Carly and I are from. Absolutely. So with so many different communities, what does this mean for Indigenous knowledge systems? Well, there was some similarities between the, the knowledge systems, particularly of those perhaps of neighbouring groups. Mm. Um, but for the most part, they were very distinct and they were very much based in the observations and the experiences of those people on the country that they lived on. Right, so I think um, a really great example of this is we've, we've zoomed in here to the state of Victoria. Now here we have um, one country, uh, Wemba Wemba country. Now, on this country in Northern Victoria, uh, the people of this region, they knew of or they spoke of a great pine tree, a really, really tall pine tree. Uh, and this pine tree was said to be their connection to the sky and the cosmos of them. Now, if we go just a little bit down the road to the Jajarurung people, um, literally neighbours, they had a completely different way of connecting to the sky world. Um, how they connected is that they would wait for, it's said that they would wait for their ancestors to um, lay ropes off their hair down from the sky world onto the ground when it was time uh, for people to travel up to the sky world. So we have these two really close communities, but two very different ways of speaking um, about something like uh, traveling to the sky world. And so I guess a little bit um, before we sort of jump um, further into looking at indigenous knowledge systems about some of the terminology that we might come across. And one of those is when we're talking about specific uh, indigenous knowledges will always aim to tell you the, the specific community or language group that this information comes from. Yeah, that's right. So like we did previously, uh, when we acknowledge the Wemba Wemba and the Dja Wurrung people, when we acknowledge our own country, the Gamilaroi country, that's what we will aim to do generally when we are sharing um, specific indigenous knowledge. However, when we do speak uh, generally, we will use specific terms to describe um, to describe various things. So uh, we will use terms such as Indigenous Australians, uh, Indigenous peoples, um, and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Uh, now these terms, all of them are ways uh, to speak quite quite broad and generally about. Uh, frankly, a lot of different language and cultural groups um, across this really large geographical location. Yeah, so Aboriginal, for example, would generally refer to the Indigenous peoples of the mainland of the continent of Australia. Um, whereas Torres Strait Islander people, it refers to those that inhabit the islands that are north of the, the tip of what we now refer to as Queensland. Yeah, exactly. So whilst these terms are useful in conveying what we're speaking about or who we're talking about, um, we are talking about a lot of different things here and that's why ideally when we do talk about specific knowledge we will aim to uh, tell you where that, that knowledge comes from. Uh, other times we may use the word mob to specifically refer um, to people of other countries, or we may be referring to our own country. Um, and then there's another word we will use a lot, and I've already said it a bunch, that is the word 
country itself. So I want to spend a little bit of time on defining what we mean when we use this word country. 